Um, this, this last issue is, is a, it's an Illyria issue, but it's a big one. Uh, Illyria is going forward to uh, you know, rebuild some, some schools and such, so if you just spend two minutes or so, uh, Tom Jama from uh, Illyria Schools, please. Good morning again. Uh, as he had mentioned, my name is Tom Jama. I'm the superintendent of the Illyria City Schools. I've been with the district on and off for 29 years. This is my 29th year in education. And I'm, I'm proud to come here today. How many of you are have you been to Elyria or part of the Elyria City School District? Wonderful, wonderful. We need to get you out and vote then on that November 8th for this, uh, for this issue. When we got assigned our number for the issue to, to build these schools, you, know, you always hope for a, a number that, that's an awesome number, something that clicks with people. And we were blessed, we got number 23. So when you think of Le LeBron James, <laughs> think of winning. Think of championship and uh, think of passing the bond issue for the new schools. What we have is an incredible opportunity in this city of Elyria. Um, we have an opportunity to bring 125 to 135 million dollars in construction to the city itself. What we're doing is we're looking to replace all of our elementary and all of our middle schools in the city and uh, downsize from the current number to uh, we're looking at building five, three campus-style schools and two elementary buildings that will be K through four. We have one campus-style school that will be uh, pre-K through grade eight, and then two campus-style schools that will be kindergarten through grade eight. But the part I want to get across more than anything today is we have an opportunity for the state of Ohio through the Ohio Schools Facilities Commission. They are going to fund 67% or $80 million of the total cost. $80 million check to the city of Elyria uh, to, uh, to help fund this cost. So again, we're looking at building five schools, again, three campus-style schools, two elementary schools, and we're also talking, uh, also on the ballot is uh, stadium as well. We're looking to replace the current stadium that's uh, approximately 100 years old, and that's going to be a locally funded initiative. The state does not give uh, reimbursement for that project. But again, the stadium and the shape it's in it definitely needs to be uh, replaced. So the overall, on November 8th, we're going to the ballot issue 23. We're going to put up, it's about 130 to $35 million construction cost. The state's going to cover 67% of the schools, or $80 million. And I'll tell you, the buildings that our kids are in right now are absolutely atrocious. The state came out, all their evaluators came out and said not one of our elementary or middle schools is worth uh, renovating. They need to be replaced. That's how bad and how outdated they are. And I saw it more than ever this week with the calls I took because of the heat in the buildings themselves. And we found out this week you can't have two fans plugged into certain outlets because the whole building goes dark because of the electrical being so outdated. But uh, so again, I would ask for your support. Those of you who live in Larry, those of you who don't, please share this information. Issue 23. It's a chance to build all new schools for our, our wonderful, wonderful children who, uh, who deserve this. They, they really deserve this. And as I tell people, if this doesn't get passed in Elyria, there's going to be another city out there who that money, where that money is going to go. So someone's going to get that money eventually. Why shouldn't it be Loring County? Why shouldn't it be the city of Elyria? Thank you very much for your time.